We're continuing the Lemil Marathon with a volcano update of some sort. I want to do it like in a series because every single one introduces something different that would not necessarily be compatible with each other, so splitting it up seemed like the best decision. We have a new environment going on and a new strike, which is an elbow. I'm mostly curious about the tracking itself because we have hands. With elbows it's kind of like what would be looking for, the curvature of the hand or something? I'm a mechanical person so every single new thing interests me in the execution and how the devs figure this out. Oh, we get fierce with some elbow strikes. Yeah, baby. All right, listen. You're going to see a shape target of a sphere shape. That's right. And it's going to be green on the right, purple on the left. Got it? Just like throwing punches. There are three different elbow strikes. The circular, the dropping from the top to the bottom, or the ascending, which goes from the bottom to the top. Let me show you. Circular elbow. Bang. Horizontal. Dropping from up down and then the ascending from down to up. Give it a go. We have our elbows, the spheres coming at you and it's above you. So we've got a lift to hit the ascending elbow. Lift your chest, wait for it, boom, you got it, beautiful. Now the sphere is in line with the head. Circular elbow, remember we want to release the hip heel and get as much power as we can. Now the sphere's below, can you see it, can you see it? Come down, dropping elbow. Breathe out, brace your abs, boom! You did it! That's so interesting because the hand doesn't even touch the target. It's kind of similar to the knee strikes, but even further from the tracking. So very fascinating how it's gonna work. And I appreciated the little tutorial. Let's try it. Let's go. Circular elbow. Circular elbow. Ascending elbow. Go. Up. <laughs> Drop it. One more time. On the circular elbow, you've got to release your lead hip and heel. Left circular elbow. Ascending elbow. Go. As the elbow comes down past the line of the thigh. <laughs> It's hard. Now that's all done. I think you're ready for the full experience. Let's go. That might be a struggle. Okay, I can feel the game is picking up a little bit of heat. Let's put your best foot forward. It's time to run. Let's bring the flow. Talk about environment first. Again, we have the 360 overlay with 3D models. This seems like hell instead of volcano, so... That's an interesting setting. I wouldn't say 360 is like an amazing quality in comparison to others because Lemil always have a big standard, but then again, you can't do like a photogrammetry situation here. There's also a dragon flying. Something different. <laughs> also with the silver strikes, I don't know, like I'll try. Maybe I do it too early. We'll see. Let's bring the power and let's bring some fun. Stay in a wide front stance. Put your dukes up. Start basic. Left power jab and right power jab. And the difference between a basic jab and a power jab, obviously, it's the intention behind the strike. But roll your elbow to the outside so you hit with the first two knuckles. Uppercut and uppercut. Our vertical strike now. This is where the forearm stays in line with the center of the chest. Elbows are tucked into the rib cage so you can drop, rotate in and up. Now, slip left. Stay. Slip right. Don't move your feet. The feet stay still. Drop your shoulder. Don't come up. Don't come up. Switch side now. Hello, abdominals. Jab cross. Go. Bump, bump. Stop. 
Fijas. And jab, slip, ba ba. Oh, what the? Stay down for as long as you can, so then when you throw that abba abba, you've got to do it from the bottom range, and then come up. So you're loaded. Stay down and up. There you go. Can you feel what's happening in your shoulder muscles, in your abs, yeah, even in your legs? Woo! All right, let's change starts. Left leg forward. Dukes up again. Sit in the hooks. Left, left. Anticipate the timing of the hook. These are our circular strikes. Can we get the elbow in line with the wrist? And then, can we get the elbow as high as the line of the shoulder? That's where the power comes from. Under, middle, upper cut, cross, upper, cross. Now you've got a short range vertical strike combined with a long range cross. As you add in the hooks, it all starts to come together. That's the beauty of this. Learn something. Drill it, train it, bring it together, feel that level of success. Now get out of the way. Feet stay still, just the shoulders and the head move. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, because you are about to let it go. What was that? Hang on a moment, you're staying on one side. Yes, that's why you've got to now get down, then get up. Go. Load it. Unload it. Load it. It means the muscles got to work in a very different way. Excellent work so far. Hold on. Power. What have you got, Rach? Sounds like Night Rider. Michael. Michael. Targets are approaching. Right foot forward. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that voice. I'm trying to be Night Rider. Is it working? Hook hook. Swinging circular moves, powerful upper body strike. They're knockout moves if you want them to be. Do you want them to be? Good job. All right, uppercuts, cross. Something I love about this little one-two combo is I'm coming out of the ground using my YYs, my legs, and then coming over the top with the cross. And now hook, hook. Are you rolling in and out of those hooks? Is your lower body grounded to the floor? Are you releasing the hip and the heel? Yes, yes, and yes. Let's slip. We're working on the upper body, rolling the shoulders, tucking your chin and slipping the shoulder out of the way. You don't want to hear the... Incoming combo. Punch, punch. Slip left. Repeat. Staying on one side. A three hit combo. One, two, three. There's two uppercuts there. So if you miss the first one, you better get that second one. Don't move the feet, but move those shoulders further than you think you need to. Big blue target. Oi! Good job. So far, so good. Great. Let's master some boxing moves, get really comfortable with rhythm changes, work on our timing and our power. Jab left, cross right. So purple's left, green is right, hit the center of the target. Already, let's speed it up. Let's go. Jab, cross and jab. Now uppercut left, uppercut right. Repeat that. We've got multiple reps here just to feel comfortable. If you miss some targets, don't sweat it. We've got lots of opportunities to really get it right and get your heart rate up and to feel amazing. Hit the center of the target. Keep your hands up nice and high, and as you hit your uppercut, we want to drop, roll in and under. Let's change it up. Hook left and right. Now slip right and left. Let's repeat that. On the slips, you don't need to move your feet. All you do is move your upper body, just enough to get your shoulders and your head out of the way, but keep your hands up by your face. How's that feel? Squat down, just stay where you are. Stand up, double sky punch. Squat down, stay where you are. Chest up, let's go. Back to those boxing combos. Jab, cross and jab. Uppercut left and right. Now hook left and right. Slip right and left. Oh, oh, did you just master a combo? Hey, eh? Let's see how many reps you can hit in a row without missing a target. That would be your new challenge from this point onwards. Hook. Move the shoulders. Now squat down, chest up, abs brace. Look over at the line of that shoulders, yes. It's okay, look up to the sky. 
Oh, look at that environment. That looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm loving the scenery. Feet nice and wide. Okay, battle rope slams, down. So you're in a partial range squat. Hands come to the outer part of the thigh, just introducing some new different types of strikes. How's that feel? Let's go back to the first combo, back to your left stance, put your dukes up, hit the combo that you're now familiar with. Hook it, and slip it. Great. Already you're experiencing multiple strikes. Different stances, different feelings, some cool rhythm changes. Let's make it, let's bring it. <laughs> it's okay, I'm bopping along with you. Whatever you do, I'll do. We're in it together. Start together, train together, finish together. Now, jab and cross. We've got 25 strikes. This is a great opportunity just to stay in it. Holding pattern. Lift your heart rate. Come on. One, 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 one. Hit it. Boom. Well done. All right, we're going to do it all on the right side. So put your right foot forward, right jab, left cross. Elbows tucked into the ribs. Time to turn up for yourself in today's workout. Let's go for the triple. One, two, three. Slow rolling uppercuts. Yeah, it ain't Monday, but it is time to go to work day. Get in that workout done, get in the training in the bag. So how's it feeling on this side? Everyone's got a favorite side. All you gotta do is keep doing training both sides. Here they come the slips. Bend your knees, tuck your chin. Turn the hip, slam the hook. If you want a bit more power and a few more points, Really slam the hip into the punch. That's my tip. All right, time to squat drop. Get low. Double punch. Hey. Knees out. Core on. Big combo. Jab, cross, jab. Slow uppers. Two hooks. And two dodges. Oi, missed it. Ale, ale. What am I now, Spanish? I don't know. Definitely not. But it sounds good. Make some noise, baby. Let's go. See what that is? That's quiet confidence. Here comes a squat. Get low. Double punch. How do you get more power out of that squat punch? Drive out of the legs. Bring the elbows close to the ribs. And tuck your chin in. Front stands. Battle rope slams outside of the thigh. Use the little fingers. Trust the targets there. Trust you're going to hit it. Hands above the head, come down hard and heavy. Squeeze through the core, exhale. Yeah. Time to finish it. Yeah, right, let's go, let's go. Right foot forward, jab, cross, jab, go. Turn up yourself today. You might miss a few. Keep turning up, you'll keep hitting more. Woo! As you turn it up, turn the hips into the punches. So when you do the uppercuts, bend the knees, roll the shoulders, up and under. Nice. You're turning your day up. Bring in the sunshine. You're so close to finishing. Hold up, people. Big breath. 25 punches. Ready? Go. Come on, turn up yourself. Turn that knuckle into the target. Smash time! Smash time! Woo! Yes! Get it done, baby! Big blue! Gotcha! I actually counted. 25. Time to ruin the combo. <laughs> Cruise control with this one. We've got some cool elbows, circling ace ends. But it's starting a left combat stance. Put your dukes up. Power jab. Left hand. Center of the tie. Come on. Pata. Pata. <laughs> hey, how's that back arm feeling? Let's bring in an uppercut and then a hook. Awesome. Jab, upper, hook. So as you throw the uppercut, let the rear shoulder come forward, release the hip and heel. Now, we're going to add on three crosses on a... Oh, yeah. Center of the target. Can you hit the beep beeps? Beautiful. Now stay with that. In a moment, 
You're going to throw a circular elbow off your lead arm. It's like a hook. Let's try it. Let's go. Circular elbow. So you want to be striking between the elbow and the forearm to the center of the target. You keep your right hand up high in your guard position. So just like you throw your hook, you've got to let the hip, heel, shoulder release. Everything moves as one as you rotate. Great. Now we're going to focus on the back arm. It's called an ascending elbow. Go. Up. Like you're throwing an uppercut off the back arm, very similar. Still striking between the forearm and the elbow, but lift your hand all the way up so it goes past the line of the chest. Triple cross, let's put it together. Circular front, ace in back. Circular front, ace in back. Yes, look at that, you just completed the most complex part of this track. If you've done that, you are a winner, winner. Very cool. Come on. One, two, and three. Hit the beeps. Bra, bra. Ba, ba. Circular. Oh, yeah. It's like a little bit of Muay Thai meets kickboxing. Mm, yeah. Now breathe. Come on. Lean into the strike. Let's get those combos coming up. Let's get those points starting to rise now. Yeah. Very, very cool. What do you got, Rach? Man, I'm vibing this track. Right foot forward. Let's pick up that combo. Right foot forward. This side. Cause I'm busy counting all this loose change Jam. Speakers on Jam. Hey. Going la -la. Now you're gonna feel like me Like you wanna catch that rhythm And like pop out some hip swing Remember, this is a workout So let's get some training going Back arm In the warmth, in the rain. One, two, three What's your name? Like Ray Hey, hey, yeah Three shots Triple cross, like then you see that power coming up the back arm on repeat, repeat, sound like, let's go. My back heel's off the floor to help bring a bit more power on that back arm. We ready to try that circular elbow? Keep your hand close to your body and roll and rotate in. So like Dan said, the whole body goes behind the strike. You're in close range contact. You're striking with the forearm and the elbow. Slamming it into the center of the target. Rotating the whole body. Good job. Well done. Keep practicing. All right, back on. Ascending. Going up. Now visualize your hand passing by the side of your face like a, like Fonzie from Happy Days. Cool. Yeah, combo time. Did I just say Fonzie from Happy Days? I'm not old enough to know about that. Move like this, circular ace and do it like, yeah! Ain't no wasting no time here. Throwing elbows, real Muay Thai. There's a lot of power and a lot of control involved in slicing elbows. Should feel pretty powerful, yeah? Good. Good job! It's the vibe. And we're looking at the end. I see a blue target. I do. I can see it. Can you see it yet? There you go. Pop it out. Pop pow Whoa. Doesn't happen often, but i got to give it to you. That was perfect. Congratulations. That was very interesting. You can't really cheat through it because... It's a different type of target, so you really need to hit your elbow with speed and conviction because the light movement doesn't necessarily connect, which is fine because that's the point of the workout. I'm still quite confused with the tracking situation and stuff like that, but it really works, so kudos to the devs because I've not seen a mechanic like that on the platform at all, I feel like, and it's really introducing some new type of content which I really appreciate. Really awesome and keep up the good job.